Hi guys, I'm here again with a book. I'm not uh, uh, bringing you uh, books uh, lately because I am uh, reading uh, uh, other uh, books I read before and I'm reading another one very, very big, the Leopold uh, Ghost from the, the, about the Congo Belga. But anyways, I uh, read recently uh, one book uh, very fast in two days and I read two times and I love it. Uh, you might know Patrick Suskin by the book uh, The Perfume, but this one is more uh, not so big and different, very different, is Patrick Suskin, The Story of Mr. Sommer. Okay, this is the version in Portuguese, as you know. Okay, this book is very simple, very clear. It could be uh, a book for um, for a teenager. It could could be read by a um, a boy or a girl with twelve years old until ninety, no problem. Just um, and have some uh, uh, draws inside, very beautiful, as you might see. But the book is not so simple as we might think. It's the history of um, a young uh, boy, now old, that is uh, tr taking to uh, uh, a trip to his childhood in this uh, village. And uh, he talk about, um, about himself, about his life, and talk about a mysterious man that walks, walks all the time. And in the book, we never know who is Mr. Sommer, why he walks so much and why he does what he does in the end. I'm going not to say what happens, but because it makes a turn uh, unexpected. We don't expect that uh, final. But uh, it's a book that, um, however is simple and clear, make us think and think about think about uh, mankind and think about the bonds and affections and notice the others what happens in the beginning mr sommer walks and walks had a wife and people notice him they see him walking doesn't understand why he walks so much, so much, so much. No end about walking in the all around the village. After some time, the, uh, came the progress. People have television, more technology, a lot of stuff, and so are more busy. And Mr. Summer is like erasing him. Even before people even doesn't notice him doesn't don't care about him but after that is like a blank never uh, uh, notice him again um, what happens in the end it's more relevant what i'm saying now because nobody even care what happened to him so what is good in this book is to make us think about why persons are invisible to the others. Why a village doesn't notice a man that has a strange behavior and is a person, is a human being, and nobody cares. So, for me, what Patrick Suskin wants to say is that life and uh, um, empathy uh, is decreasing and life be hardens uh, people became um, like we don't care we don't see the others we don't see the others as persons uh, uh, as they have feelings they are suffering 
nobody gets interest what happens to that person uh, the, the the bonds the uh, the uh, with persons is just uh, about money or status just by interest even even families don't mm, sometimes they don't have love or friendship uh, people just forget about the others so i think patrick suskin want to say that we are forgotten we are nothing we are nothing in the universe we are nothing in the planet we are nothing in humankind among the others so this is my opinion and my interpretation even so i am thinking and thinking that are uh, thinking about this what i want you to do is to read the book please read the book and say what is behind that simple words what patrick suskin wants to say about mr sommer what the metaphor is behind this book it's an incredible book and don't say you cannot read because he is very little but the message is very deep please read the book again story of mrs summer patrick suskin if you didn't read uh, the perfume of this author read too because it's very good too see you next time and comment if you agree with my opinions or not kisses see you next time bye